Welcome to Valmont. We're excited you've made the decision to join our team. As part of the Valmont Codings team, you share in the responsibility to create and maintain a safe work environment. This responsibility begins on the first day of employment with Valmont and continues throughout your career. This training will provide critical safety information related to your role with Valmont Coatings. Please watch carefully and learn more about how to keep yourself and your coworkers safe. Valmont issues all necessary personal protective equipment referred to as PPE. This is the equipment required to do the job. We've established PPE by position. Everyone is required to wear steel-toed boots with metatarsal guards. Employees whose boots do not have a built-in metatarsal guard will be provided with lace-in guards for their steel-toed boots. We expect all employees to wear safety glasses at all times while working in production. Safety glasses must have a gasket around the lenses to prevent dust and debris from entering your eyes and causing injury. Be sure your safety glasses fit snug to your face. If they do not, ask your supervisor for a different style that fits better. If you wear prescription glasses, we provide over-the-glasses safety goggles. You can also ask your manager about prescription safety glasses. Another required PPE item is a hard hat. Overhead work and loads being moved by cranes are common activities across our facilities. That's why it is important to wear a hard hat at all times. Lastly, all employees and visitors are required to wear high visibility attire. In addition to these across the board requirements, employees may be required to wear job or task specific PPE. Good housekeeping is one of the most basic practices to creating a safe workplace. Keep your work area clean and organized to prevent tripping or falling. Housekeeping is everyone's responsibility. Be sure to keep your workstations free from items like extension cords, banding materials, loose wires, or dunnage when not in use. So clean as you go and leave time to clean up at the end of your shift as well. These are small tasks, but make a big difference when preventing trip or fall hazards. Empty containers whenever they're full. Put loose items away, back where they belong if you see something out of place. And always report when you find an item broken or damaged. Keep these best practices in mind when manually handling material throughout our facilities. Never overload a forklift. It could tip, sending heavy products toward people, especially dangerous products that roll. In this clip, an employee puts himself in an exclusion zone between two trusses about to be moved by a forklift. The forklift causes one of the trusses to tip. The employee is able to duck underneath the falling truss and narrowly escapes serious injury. Some products are small enough to be moved by hand. Heavier items are moved by machinery, so be aware of the overhead cranes, jibs, and hoists used to handle these heavy products. It is important that employees recognize the dangers of handling and working near this kind of activity. Heavy duty industrial equipment is continually in motion. Forklifts share the pathways and must be able to yield to avoid a collision. Always listen for horns. Drivers use them to notify pedestrians of their presence. The driver does the right thing here, letting a coworker pass. But watch what happens just moments later. The product wasn't secured properly. It falls off and strikes an employee. After galvanizing, cleanup may require that the steel parts be positioned so that employees can clean all sides of the product. This may require employees to roll steel parts, such as poles, onto workhorses and ergonomic tables. These workers have solar beams placed between workhorses and are using a turning tool to move the beams one by one. 
when rolling poles, you must be positioned on either of the far ends of the poles. Do not place yourself in between poles. Also, be aware of your hand positioning, as pole rolling creates dangerous pinch points. Whenever possible, use pole rolling tools or forklifts and cranes to move material. Ensure that the workhorses and stands are properly positioned to then support the load. We are continually sourcing new products, so you'll encounter products of all shapes and sizes. Keep an exit strategy in mind no matter where you're working and what material you may be working with. Here you can see a large truss tips over on the top of the screen. Our employee narrowly escapes injury. Never position yourself between material that could shift, tip, or collapse. Do not try to catch pieces. If a product begins to fall, remember, hands up and get out of the danger zone. Your safety is more important than any damaged item. We value your safety above anything else. Chalking helps stabilize product that is prone to rolling. Set up workhorses whenever possible. Again, an extra step of prevention will reduce the likelihood of injury. The process of stacking or unstacking loads can expose employees to pinch points. Pinch points can be very dangerous and may result in injury to hands and fingers. These injuries could range from minor lacerations all the way to fractures and amputations. Be aware of your hand placement when manually stacking or unstacking product. Proper gloves are critical. When working in a team, have a plan for who will set their end down first and communicate constantly. Whenever possible, use tools like this to keep your hands out of pinch points. If you're using a crane hook, chain, or fixture, remove your hands before moving the loads. Safe lifting techniques prevent injury. Here is the best way to lift product. Firmly grasp with a good diagonal grip. Hold your weight close to your body, creating a center of gravity. Bend at your knees and lift with your legs. Do not attempt to lift more than 50 pounds. The further away from your body or above or below your strong box, the less it should weigh. Use proper footing and hand placement like this. Please remember Velmont weight limits, no more than 50 pounds per person during team lifting. Make sure communication between you and your partner is clear before attempting to lift heavy objects. An exclusion zone is the area near moving equipment where people are especially vulnerable. Powered industrial trucks are any power-driven vehicle used to carry, push, pull, lift, or stack material. In galvanizing facilities, these would include forklifts, straddle trucks, side loaders, combi lifts, shag trucks, and pallet jacks. The exclusion zone is a six and a half foot space on all four sides of a powered industrial truck. Exclusion zones are extended to account for the carried load. The six and a half foot distance begins at the edge of the load or the truck, whichever is farther out. The exclusion zone also includes the immediate path of travel, the turning circle or tail swing around the industrial truck, and any area in which a person may be struck or trapped by objects being handled. This employee was in the line of fire, struck by the tail swing of a forklift. Fortunately, he only suffered a broken ankle, but the incident could have been much worse. Always be aware of the industrial traffic around you. If you have to enter the exclusion zone, the operator must stop the truck, lower the load to the ground, and apply the parking brake before it's okay to stop and talk to the driver. If you're crossing the path of an industrial truck, stop to make eye contact with the operator and wait to receive an acknowledgement, such as a hand signal, when it's safe to cross the path of the vehicle. Operators should use the designated walkways and pedestrian access points whenever possible. Avoid entering and exiting buildings through overhead doors, as these are reserved for industrial truck traffic. 
Good judgment is needed when loading and unloading trailers. The loading and unloading exclusion zone is a high risk area adjacent to and including the transportation vehicle being loaded. Employees and truck drivers should stay out of the exclusion zone around the trailer while there is active loading in progress. An employee or truck driver may spot a load only when the forklift operator knows that they are present in the area and precautions have been taken to keep them out of harm's way. In galvanizing, overhead cranes serve as the primary method of moving materials throughout the plant to be processed. Cranes hoist these large loads with specifically designed attaching equipment. When working around these cranes and their loads, it is important to recognize the potential hazards. These types of products are typically very heavy and large. It is important to remember to never walk under a suspended load like these workers. Look for and listen to the crane operators and spotters for directions to keep yourself out of harm's way. When working around suspended loads, maintain a perimeter of 45 degrees from the load. Fall protection must be used when loading or unloading trailers, especially if you have to get up onto the load to secure it for shipment. Use a fall protection harness when working at heights more than four feet. Watch for areas that are blocked off to keep you from walking underneath when workers are overhead. Grinding and filing are standard tasks at all galvanizing facilities. The most common use of a grinder in galvanizing is to remove excess zinc from critical form and fit areas. Grinders run between 10,000 and 11,000 RPMs, which is much faster than a normal drill. There are some key safety items to remember when working with grinders. Unplug the grinder when changing wheels. Attach the handle and use a firm grip. Ensure that the guard is in place. Run new wheels in a protected area to make sure the wheel is not defective before moving into production. Point work so that the debris from the grinding is directed downward or away from you. Point the work so that the wheel spins away from and not into sharp edges. Wheels, especially wire wheels, can catch on the sharp edges and throw the workpiece or cause the grinder to kick back. When grinding, employees must wear a face shield, safety glasses, gloves, hard hat, earplugs, and other area-specific PPE. When working on hot product, product that has recently come out of the kettle, employees are required to wear arm guards and a flame resistant or FR jacket. This protects against the heat of the galvanized product coming out of the hot kettle. Keep bystanders away. Everyone in the immediate work area should also be wearing a face shield, safety glasses, and hearing protection, in addition to other required PPE. Grinding should only be performed in a designated hot work area or under a signed hot work permit. Grinding work should be completed in a well-kept area free from flammable materials. Secure the piece you are grinding. Use a clamp if needed to make sure it doesn't slip or move while grinding. You should never grind in a manner that creates sparks. If sparks are visible, this indicates that all the zinc has been removed from the steel. Overgrinding can result in costly rework for your site. Only properly trained personnel should be allowed to operate a grinder. Employees should read the operator's manual before receiving supervised hands-on training. Always read the manufacturer's specifications with each grinding tool. Unnecessary injuries can result from mismatched equipment and accessories. Key elements of grinder safety will reduce the chances for accidents. When working with extension cords, there are a few basic rules that every employee should know. Cord condition matters. Use only extension cords approved by an independent testing laboratory such as UL, Underwriters Laboratory. Flexible cords should be used only in continuous lengths without splices or taps. Extension cords should not be repaired with tape. If you see a spliced cord, replace it immediately. Do not run extension cords under carpet, rugs, or furniture. Do not run cords through holes in walls or under doors. 
Do not attach extension cords with tape, nails, or staples. Don't use indoor rated cords outside. And avoid using cords in wet conditions. Inspect extension cords routinely, especially before using them. In commercial buildings, all appliances, tools, and powered units must be grounded or double insulated. Never modify an extension cord by cutting off the grounding cord to fit into a two-pronged outlet. Do not cut down polarized prongs. Electricity and water or damp conditions do not mix. Water will create an electrical unseen pathway. If you see wires in water, do not enter. If you feel any tingling, get out. If someone is down due to electrical shock, do not rush in to help. Make sure your hands are dry when plugging and unplugging cords, especially with power equipment. Extension cords are only for temporary use. Install a permanent, hand-wired solution if the connection is needed beyond 30 days. One of the keys to achieving superior health and safety performance is engaging employees at all levels of the organization. We are all responsible for prevention and control of hazards, so people, the environment, and our business reputation are not damaged. We want all our employees to engage in the health and safety of our workplace. That's how we're going to achieve superior performance. At Belmont Coatings, we welcome you to get involved. One way you can get involved is to report hazards when you see them. Follow your site's established hazard reporting procedures. Another way to get involved is to participate in your site's safety contact program. Through this program, we provide positive and corrective feedback to employees regarding safe or unsafe behaviors in a no-name, no-blame format. We want to catch people doing things right and make the necessary corrections when we observe behaviors or conditions that could result in injury or harm to our valuable employees. Talk to your supervisor about other ways to get involved. Participating on your site's safety committee, serving as a safety mentor, or assisting with safety training are all great ways to make a difference. Thanks for paying such close attention to this training video. As we said earlier, your safety is our top priority. Welcome to the team.